So here's how to make a quick Visi starter patch. Along with the beep modules, you'll find Visi in the lower left hand part of your patcher window with a little V button visible when the patch is unlocked. Clicking on the Visi icon opens the Visi browser and shows you the Visi module types you can use and select from. First, we'll create a simple player. Click on the Inputs tab and then click on the word Player and drag it into your patcher window. You'll see a Visi Video Player module appear. Now let's add a module to view our output. Click on the Output tab in the Visi browser and click and drag a projector into your patcher. You'll see a projector module appear and also a nice big Visi display window. Now, Connect the video out of the player module to the input of the projector module and lock your patch by clicking on the lock icon in the lower left hand corner of the patcher window. That's it, you're all ready to go. To load a video, click on the video icon in the left hand part of your patcher window and click and drag a video onto the player module's display. The movie will start playing right away in the window of the player module and in the video window as well. To switch to full screen playback, click on the full screen button on the projector module. To exit full screen mode, you can use the escape key. The player module includes controls that let you loop a portion of your movie by clicking and dragging, and you can also change the playback speed. Remember, negative speed plays the movie back in reverse. You can also select regular or high speed playback and you've got a reset button to reset your movie to normal playback forward at full speed. Now, let's add a video effect. Unlock your patch, click on the Visi icon, and then click on the Effects tab to show a listing of the video effects modules you can use. I'm going to add a Bercoser module that lets me change the brightness, contrast, and saturation of my video. Click on the effect name, drag it into your patch or window and now reconnect the player output and projector inputs to the inputs and outputs of the Bercoser module and lock your patch. As soon as you finish your connection, you'll see the results. See the word on on the effects module? You can turn effects on and off by clicking on the green nameplate for the module. Visi modules work like a guitar stomp box. When the effect is off, the video is passed through unaffected. Take a minute and explore what the modules do by playing with the dials and switches. If you want to know what a control or module inlet or outlet does, just hover over it with your cursor and you'll see a hint appear. Every Visi module has a standard Max help file too. To see it, unlock your patch and option click on a Mac or alt click on Windows on the module. Try adding another module to your patch. In fact, explore them all. Like Max itself, the order in which effects are patched can really change the look of the output. Wouldn't it be great to be able to control effects automatically? Well, every effect parameter in Visi expects a floating point number in the range from 0 to 1.0, and there's a whole family of Visi modules that generate those numbers. Let's add one to our patch. Unlock your patch, click on the Visi icon, and then click on the Generator tab to show a listing of the data generator modules. I'm going to add an attractor module that uses a chaotic attractor equation to generate lots of numbers I can use to animate my patch. Click on the attractor and drag it into your patcher window. By the way, you'll notice that different kinds of Visi modules can be identified by their color. Red for input and output, green for effects, and orange for generators. Click on an output of the attractor module and connect it to any one of the dot or data inputs of the player or Bercosa module. As soon as you make the connection, you'll see your module respond to the generator module's output. You can connect any of the attractor modules to any of the data inputs of any Visi module. Well, that ought to get you up and running for now. Feel free to explore more of Visi and, oh yeah, happy patching.